Today I'm going to show you an example of how you can use the Integer Analyze plugin within IDA Pro to help accelerate reverse engineering. So you'll see here I'm loading an ELF file into IDA and it'll just take a few seconds for IDA to process. But when I scroll down here on the left, you'll be able to see that there are many functions within this file. Uh, no real way of prioritizing or knowing where to start. For a reverse engineer, this would likely take uh, quite a lot of time to analyze manually. Um, you can see all this complex code, but what we're gonna do is we're going to use the Integer Analyze plugin. And when I click on the Integer Analyze plugin here, it'll take just a second or two, but what we'll get is this output that has all sorts of valuable information for the reverse engineering process. We can see different code blocks here. We see that there is some malicious code. We can also see that there are libraries as well. Uh, we can even look at the block address. But uh, what I wanna start with is I wanna filter the malicious code here. So I wanna just focus on malware. When I run it, you can see instantly that this file shares a lot of code with evil known. Uh, which is a Linux malware we've found. And when I pull up the strings here, it will allow me to prioritize my time and start with the interesting parts. Um, when I see this string that says GNOME shell extension, um, that's something I wanna dig into. So when I double click, I'll be able to pull up uh, these code blocks here that contain code we've seen in evil GNOME and only in evil GNOME. To really help me prioritize my time and energy as a reverse engineer, I can focus on the pieces that matter. And this is a great example of how you can use Integer Analyze plugin within IDA Pro. 